Well, so I wake up and Nikki tells me to go to the corner and be a hoe. So, I came to the corner to be a hoe. I came to the best place. The Academy of Hoeing. <laughs> oh, I thought I could go to a corner and make a dollar. You know what's funny, though, is, uh, see the truck right here? I ain't worried about it because they got uh, a little puppy and a um, U.S. flag as a license plate, so you can't locate them. But the gentleman goes to Academy, and the lady goes to, if you can see that, Michael's or Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm not real sure where she went, but they kind of parked right in the middle. Uh, that's uh, different. Can't say as I'm blaming, though. Anyway, it's going to be a good day, Tater. It is cloudy, and the bright side of that is it's only 95 degrees. And that's pretty good. All right, that's not a bad way to start the day. I don't know if you can see it. It's only $6, but it's from Cotton Patch, which is about 200 yards right there in the same parking lot. And it's going 0.8 miles. So, yes, we will be taking that starting to sprinkle out here a little bit yeah you know i was thinking about that man that went to academy and his wife went over here to michael's or bed bath and beyond and uh nikki's been watching this show uh oh uh, penny pinchers or something <laughs> kind of made me think if it starts to rain who's got the keys is he gonna go pick her up or is she gonna come pick him up or they just on their own that uh was watching one with nikki the other night and uh, the girl opened up a bag of chips and he was sitting there looking at it and he said well can i can i have one chip and she goes yeah i guess so but it's going to cost you 15 cents I was going to take this opportunity to wipe out my bag while it's slow. That's one thing that you make, need to make sure you do pretty regularly. Um, I don't know that it might should be done every trip, but honestly, I don't do it every trip. But I try to do it at least once or twice a day. It depends on how busy it's been and if I've even used that bag. If you haven't used that bag, then once a week. Just wipe the dust out of it. But you could keep, I guess you could keep it zipped up. But then it might get kind of smelly. But it's very important to keep stuff wiped down and clean. That's not what this video is about. It's just what I happen to be doing right now. What this video is about is the oil price is going up. Which means the gas price is going up. Which means it will affect us all and it will definitely affect us gig workers that's driving for uber eats and doordash and whatnot so what do y'all think about that i saw a little article on it i'm going to read that to you all in a moment so stick around see don't take but a minute and it can uh, make a world of difference. Plus, it makes it smell a little better. So let's talk about these oil prices. See what I'm talking about? See if I can zoom that in where you can see it a little better. That's what I'm talking about. 275.9. I'm going to stop here at, uh, what is it called? Raising Canes? Stopped here the other night. Well, I mean, I've stopped here several times to pick up other people's orders. But I actually stopped here the other night to get us some food. And their tea is pretty good. I'm not real sure of the price of just a cup of tea, but we're going to find out. Where y'all at? Over here, over there. We got a camera facing that way and a camera facing this way. And these people are going to think I'm crazy if I don't shut up and quit talking.
I just need a large uh, cup of sweet tea with just light ice. No, that's it. Alright, thank you. Alright, thank you. Well, I got a $2 tip last night. I wonder if $2 will cover it. <laughs> yeah, Alright. I doubt it. Go ahead and pull it today. Oh, okay, thank you. Better get our card out just in case. Here you go. Fine. Oh, sure? Yeah. Oh, I appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a blessed one. You too. Man, that's cheap enough. Raising canes right here in Wichita Falls. Free cup of tea. And I even recommend them more than I already recommended them. Still good in America. Let's get over here and sit and talk about these oil prices, y'all, and how it's going to affect us all. I don't care what kind of job you're doing. You can be doing a nine to five job. You can be a world traveler. You're going to stop. You can be whatever you want to be, but the truth of the matter is, Gas prices will affect you if you drive a vehicle, that is, or a motorcycle. Or, well, a motorcycle is a vehicle. But unless you're riding a bicycle, these prices are going to affect you. So why are gas prices so high, and why are they going to keep going up? I found the answer. Let me read it to you here. Let me... I'm not ignoring you. I'm just looking down so I can read First why are prices at the pump so high in general? There are several factors at play here that all have had an impact since last November The loosening of COVID restrictions globally in recent months has led to a rapid recovery in global demand for crude oil that has exceeded the expectations of all the experts on the subject leading to a tightening of global crude markets number two strong discipline among the OPEC plus nations related to their agreement to lim limit exports has also played a major role in tightening the relationship between global supply and demand and it says number three the US election has also obviously played a big role here since last November 3rd, the average price per gallon of regular gasoline in the U.S. has skyrocketed by 75 cents. The, market clear, the markets clearly see the Biden-Harris administration as one that will work to inhibit U.S. oil production, which will also have the effect of tightening the global market. And traders have responded by driving up the price of crude oil. Uh, it says number four, refinery maintenance and the changeover to summer gasoline blends. This is a factor that I tend to write about every year at this time. Gas prices have continued to rise even as crude prices have dropped over the past week, mainly due to the fact that March and April are the time of year in which many U.S. refineries are taken offline for annual maintenance and all refineries are switching from manufacturing a handful of winter blends of gasoline to the dozens of summer blends required by the EPA. This changeover invariably raises the cost of both refining and transportation of gasoline and that is always worked into gas prices during these months. Just uh, to sum it up, we've seen a con confluence of factors since November that have driven up the price for crude oil, now combined with a higher cost associated with the annual converse, con conversion. Sorry about that. I'm wondering where I'm 
uh, higher costs associated with annual conversion over to summer blends of gasoline. Since gas prices at the pump tend to follow the prices of crude oil almost a linear basis, none of this was really surprising. So, I read a while ago that, uh, I'm going to put these back on, uh, gas or oil, West Texas oil per barrel closed out Friday, I think it was uh, June 25th. It's $69 and something cents a barrel. And what they're expecting is it to go to $100 a barrel. So what does that mean for us? We need better tips. <laughs> yeah, for real, all of us. This means that gas is probably going to be over $3 a gallon and higher, depending on your area. You know, like California, from everything that I've always seen, heard, and read, is always higher than it seems like everybody else. Mostly due to the taxes. But are y'all ready for that? It's coming, folks. Gas is going up. And me being in Texas, I can tell you that while this is not, I unplugged my phone, while this is not so good for me personally, I got lots of friends that work out in oil fields. And uh, the higher the price goes up, the better money they make, the more money they spend. So, it's, I mean, you know, you got to weigh the good with the bad. Me not being affiliated, unfortunately, not being a, having an oil well <laughs> affiliated with the oil market industry, it has a negative impact on me. However, it might mean these ladies and gentlemen that work out in the oil field are going to be working their little booties off and don't really feel like going out to eat so they may be ordering food in so see it's going to benefit the thing of it is is it going to keep a balance what do y'all think leave me a comment down below see i want to know y'all's opinion do you think it's going to have a major negative effect on us or an just a normal effect or a good effect. I do know that the price of the pump is going to go up, which is a negative. All we can hope for is that people will use these DoorDash and Uber Eats and Bite Squad and you know what? I well, I'm getting off on tangent, but I just thought about it. But hopefully they'll use those apps more. But I just thought about the people driving for Lyft and uh, driving Uber as in the, in the ride shares, not food delivery. But, you know, they may. I, I've never done that, and I don't know anything about it. If you do, let me a comment. But it seems like if the gas prices go up, um, the people that can afford it may start utilizing those services like they, from what I read, like they used to. I've never done it. Never been in a taxi business. Unless you count hauling kids and friends and family around. So that, that doesn't pay well and usually it costs you. But that's life. How do you think it's going to affect us? What's your opinion? Let me know. And before you leave, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Because there's going to be more videos and more rambling and and I don't know what all. In the meantime, y'all keep on smiling, be happy, treat each other nice. Things are getting rough. Just be nice. A smile, a wave, a hello, a how you doing? Just something. Be nice, keep smiling, and be happy. Y'all keep on dashing and dancing and prancing and whatever it is you want to do and i will see y'all in the next video bye now